Hello, and welcome to Alleviate Dry Eye, where you can learn to take care of your eyes like it's the only pair you'll ever have. I'm your host, Dr. Pam Terrio. I'm the author of the book, Alleviate Dry Eye, and also a dry eye specialist here in Louisiana. So today we are going to talk about four rules of dry eye. If you've been hanging around with me for a little while now, you know that I preach the same rules over and over and over again. So in the past couple of weeks, number one, I've been in the car a lot, so I've had some thinking time. Number two, I've been to a funeral and a wedding in the same 10-day time span. So there was a bit of crying going on. And so I re-evaluated some of the rules that um, I preach. And so I'd like to talk to you about four rules, three of them you can break, and one that you can never, ever, 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 ever break. Okay? So first we're going to talk about the rule, why it's a rule, and then when you can break it. Normally I'm quite the rule follower, but I had some reassessment time, and there are times when you can break rules. So number one, I preach never to use waterproof mascara, right? If you're on the beach or at the pool, you can wear sunglasses. You don't, you should be wearing sunglasses. You don't need to have mascara on. So the, it's a rule because waterproof mascara um, contains toxins. It also, the stuff that makes it stick onto your eyes, makes it very sticky, has waxes in it that are hard to remove. So then some of it stays behind. And in general, waterproof mascara dries out your lashes. It makes them brittle, break off easily and short. And who wants short eyelashes anyway? So um, waterproof uh, mascara is something I never recommend. Instead, I have two favorites. Eyes are the story. Mascara comes in these mini wands. It comes in a pack of three mini wands. It's very dark. It goes on nice and easy. It does not flake. And these mini wands mean that you can throw this away once a month. And then there's no bacteria living inside the mascara brush. It's super healthy and clean for your eyes. The other one that I love is the Clean Sweep Mascara from 2020 Beauty. This is pitch black and it is nice and dark. And again, doesn't contain toxic chemicals. It goes on really nice, clean and pretty. So those are the two mascaras that I do recommend, but there is a reason to break this rule. So the reason to wear waterproof mascara is to a wedding, a funeral, maybe, maybe a baby shower, maybe a graduation, somewhere where you know you're gonna cry. I think a lot of dry eye sufferers lean towards using waterproof mascara because they're constantly using their artificial tears, putting that in their eye, it's running down their face, or maybe their eyes just water in general, or they're rubbing them or wiping at them constantly because they're irritated. And so they tend to use waterproof mascara, which in the long run can be more irritating and cause more inflammation to your eyes, thus leading to dry eyes. So unless you're at a wedding, a funeral, or a graduation, do not wear waterproof mascara. So buy it for that occasion, throw it out, and go back to using 2020 Beauty or Eyes of the Story. Those are the best. Number two, tight lining. Tight lining drives me nuts. I see people on the streets, at the mall, in the grocery store who tight line, and I want to stop them and tell them to never, ever, ever, ever tight line. It's terrible. So if you don't know what tight lining is, it's when women put their eyeliner on their, my bony and glands, right there on the inner rim of their eyelid. That is part of your eye, friends. It's not part of your skin. That's a mucous membrane. Its job is to lubricate your eyes with oils, keep it bathed and happy so that your eyes don't dry out and feel uncomfortable. If you coat your oil glands with crap, like black liner, then number one, you have liner floating around in your tear film. And number two, you don't have the oils that you need. And it clogs up those oils so that they don't come out later on. So, sorry, that was a rant. So do not use, do not tight line. If you're going to use eyeliner, you can use 
this one by Beauty Counter. It's a pencil. You can sharpen it regularly, keep it nice and clean, or both Eyes of the Story and 2020 Beauty have liquid eyeliner pens that you can use to line your eyes beautifully. They specifically made these liquid so that you couldn't tight line with them. So like I said, that's the rule. That's why we have it. These are the products I'd rather you use, but there is a time to tight line. And that is if you're at a wedding <laughs> and maybe you're the bride. I really hate tight lining. So really avoid it. I consider tight lining to be like the evening gown of makeup. You don't want to do it every day. It's not a look that you just want to have on a Tuesday afternoon. Save tight lining for those special events. Like if you're going to wear an evening gown, you know that dress that you have in the way back of your closet that you pull out once a year? That dress, that's the one that you can tight line when you're wearing that dress. So otherwise, beauty counter, pencil, sharpening eyeliners or eyes are the story and 2020 beauty have liquid eyeliners to use instead okay rule number three i talk about this one all day every day is sleeping in your contact lenses right we don't want to sleep in our contact lenses especially when our eyes are dry because they will irritate your eyes increase bacteria in your eyes increase chances of infection and eye infections are no joke friends eye infections can cause scarring, loss of vision, and loss of eyeballs. I've seen it happen. Don't sleep in your contact lenses, except if you work in the emergency room and you're on a shift and you need to have your contact lenses on to see your patients, but yet you need a nap. If you're a firefighter and you're on a 24-hour shift or a police officer and you're on a 24-hour shift and really you do need contact lenses instead of eyeglasses because if they fell off, you wouldn't be able to do your job. So there are reasons, but they are very specific, very special reasons, very specific people who should sleep in their contact lenses. New moms who have to get up in the middle of the night and nurse their babies or check on their babies. No, you can wear glasses, friends. Glasses work. There are, there are great glasses out there. Your baby is not gonna grab the glasses off your face in the middle of the night and break them. So no sleeping in your contact lenses unless you have a job that requires them and you have to sleep while you're on that job, okay? Those are the only reasons that you won't, would want to use them. So if you have dry eyes, I recommend using Daily Disposable Contact Lenses. This brand is one of my favorites. It's called Daily's Total One, super moisturizing. There's lots of new contact lens technology these days. So lots of options for contact lens wearers that have dry eyes. There's so many better brands around these days. So check it out. Go see your eye doctor, get fitted with some great contact lenses. All right, number rule number four, I talk about this one all the time, is sleeping in your eye makeup, right? We don't sleep in our eye makeup because it leaves stuff on our eyelids for the bacteria that naturally live there to burrow into, breed, cause inflammation, overpopulate, and overall just keep our eyes irritated. We have to take our eye makeup off every night and take it off well. So carry around eyes of the story, individually wrapped eye makeup removers, or I love these guys. They're from Norwex. They're suede microfiber. This is a big towel. And then this one's just a small cloth. It's got a fuzzy side and a suede side. This just add water and then you can remove all your makeup. It's awesome. So I wrecked my brain. I thought for days while I was driving in the car um, about how, when you would need to sleep in your eye makeup. And the answer, never, never, ever, 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 ever sleep in your eye makeup. You don't need to. Let's say you're on a date and you don't think you're going home, but one of these, this is an eye makeup remover, friend, in your purse and remove your makeup while you're out and about. Um, you get home and you get into the lazy boy and then you just fall asleep. You knew you were going to fall asleep before you got in that lazy boy. So go ahead, take your eye makeup off before you get in the lazy boy and turn the TV on. You, again, don't need to be wearing your eye makeup. There's no good reason to sleep in your eye makeup. So if you do not have a favorite eye makeup remover yet, please come to my website, www.pamterio.com 
forward slash remover and download that guide to sensitive eyes, the makeup removers that are best for your dry sensitive eyes. And it'll walk you through a couple of steps to pick out your skin type, your makeup wear, your lifestyle, which makeup remover is best for you. You couldn't do anything better for your eyes than take your makeup off, I promise. All right, if you want more great tips on how to take care of your dry eyes, please visit my website at Pam Terrio, that's spelled PamTheRiot.com, and check out all the blogs there. Um, also, if you want to learn to take care of your eyes today, your vision will last you a lifetime. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.